one of the accomplishments of the Nature Revolt album, which is quite different from the electronic scene of Germany, for example, is that we put um, a message on top of uh, progressive electronic drum and bass, listenable music, uh, you can hear the vocals uh, of what I'm saying there, and the vocals are limitedly, uh, subliminally uh, pushed into certain areas of the album, but most of it would be considered instrumental, and uh, I didn't really say anything on that album unless I had something important to say. And the main goal of the album was to uh, bring awareness of the light, that we will go into light, uh, on the Island of Light song, and that the wind will probably push us away if we uh, are dreaming and in dream state. And I think the people that will be standing still are the real artists in the world, and the rest will be blown away. The Global Warning uh, single was released in England from the Nature Revolt album, and it's a lot about the pharmaceutical pills. I mean, if we're all going to take pills, pills, pills for everything, I mean, there is not really any chance if you're going to come up with something creative in your brain. I would say it's dulling the youth, and if they can get off the pills and not take a pill for a headache and not take a pill for any reason and let the body repair itself, Maybe you will come up with a great painting, but getting high on pharmaceutical pills, your paintings are going to look like mud. And I noticed the music is starting to look, feel like mud, look like mud. When you hear, if they're on Wellbutrin, Depakote, Cyprexa, Oxycontin, or any of these drugs like Prozac or that, it's, it's a, okay, if you really need the pills and you think they work, that's all in your mind. That's only the surface of the problem. Um, one thing we've found out about, uh, about artists, let's take street artists for example, they're kind of on the surface, uh, don't want to be known or famous or whatever, they're always hiding. But then all of a sudden you see an art show with like $10,000 price tag on their dripping art, or uh, street art. And so I, it was inevitable that street art, Banksy, many people coming up on this time, finally came to roost because uh, street art was always a valid visual art. If you're a real artist and you're putting it on the wall, nobody can deny that that's a piece of artwork. Uh, I, never de I never denied anybody uh, writing their thoughts on the walls of New York. I always felt that was a form of art, a form of freedom, a form of, uh, freedom of speech, freedom of expression. Um, everything that was put on the walls of New York, I would have to say, is a piece of artwork. And the only thing I don't like is bubble letters. Um, I find that to be very boring. Uh, the kids are getting more clever. They are coming up with logos and they are putting subliminal messages all within their work now. I hope the next generation from the year 2008 on starts to put more messages into their paintings, their art, and their music. Two more radical statements from the album of Fighting for Your Lives and Global Warning. The Fighting for Your Lives uh, We've seen this in magazines and we've, um, we don't really want to be fighting for our lives, technically. Although uh, you'd have to be aware as an artist of how much more time do we have to make art, I mean to afford to make art. And so there is the streets, you can find all materials on the streets, so if you don't have any money and you need a paintbrush, please cut a little corner of your hair off and tape it with duct tape onto a stick and now you've got your paintbrush. The only thing I learned as an artist was never give up. Once you give up, you cannot get really back on track. As each year passes by, you fall farther and farther behind. So never give up, and never give up the path to creativity. This is the only answer. This is the true answer, and my answer to the world, and my only path. Without creativity, there's no life. Without art, there's no life. And so, everybody should pick up a guitar and everybody should pick up a paintbrush. And now's the time to create. Now in this time of history.